One hadith that's actually really made me ponder. Amazing, amazing hadith. Where the Prophet ﷺ told his companions, he says, you know, Man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allahu liqa'ahu. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Whoever loves and is looking forward to the meeting with Allah, Allah is looking forward to the meeting with him or her. Whoever is looking forward to the meeting with Allah. Have you thought of meeting with Allah? Have you thought of meeting him? Have you thought of going back to him? Have you thought of talking to him? Subhanallah. If you're looking forward to the meeting with Allah, guess what? The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allah is looking forward to the meeting with you. How? How? Amazing. I can't believe. Meaning we believe it is a hadith, but I... If a man imagine a, a VV VIP and you are nothing compared to that person, this is just an example, and you're looking forward to meeting them and they're looking forward to meeting you. The excitement is the other way. Because who am I? I'm a nothing man. Imagine Allah. Walillahi al-mathalul a'la. The example of Allah is always higher. Whatever we've just said is obviously only to bring it closer to the minds of the people. But when that happens and Allah is looking forward to meeting with you, imagine, I can't, you know, I sit and I think about it and I tell myself, imagine a large crowd of people and you picked up from that particular crowd and you taken forward and you brought to Allah. And Allah says, I was looking forward to meeting you. I know how much of salah you did for me. I know how much you worshipped me, how much you trusted me, how much you endured from what I put in your path. Here is your Jannah, Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant it to us. The calamities of this world will continue until the world comes to an end itself. The world will come to an end. Everything will come to an end. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we will reward you. Take it in your stride. Don't lose hope. It's not the end of everything. No. What's the worst case scenario for people? For us as human beings who are weak, we say, well, the worst thing is I might die. That's actually the best thing for a believer. The Prophet Muhammad says the gift of a true believer is death. Imagine when you die after having led a life of obedience to Allah, trying, you're a human. Don't forget you're a human being. You will falter, but you will also repent immediately and make amends regarding your relationship with Allah. And then guess what? The day you pass on, if you started that day with Salatul Fajr, may Allah strengthen us. If you started that day with Tilawa of the Quran, with goodness, with a good plan and so on and come 10 o'clock and you just pass away, do you really think you're going to go to an evil place, a bad place, or you're going to be the happiest soul ever, ever, ever? Subhanallah. Eternity. We all have to go. Don't let these temporary trials of the dunya distract you. Don't.